welcome back to cooking with ash i'm getting some vitamin hmm, vitamin d vitamin d suck it up suck it in that's right today in the kitchen we will be making some pantry and this request was you know i had a few people requested this but you know our friend Maha Beehive drop it today in the comment section and be like, I need a pantry recipe ASAP. So we hooking you up. Okay, let's go. Also want to give a big shout out to our sister Angelina for your super tongues. Your generosity means so much to me. I appreciate it, my love. So let's let's go. Let's go, you know, put this pantry very quickly this, together. Um pantry, it's it's not something people make every day. It's generally make, um, it's served at like, you know, religious function, Hindu religious function. You would get it in your parsad bag next to your parsad. That little powdery white thing. This is what we make in here, right? Not everybody like it, but me like it. You know, me like that little crunch on it. And for some reason, people are not making it as much these days. Like I can't remember going to a jandi and see they have, um, pantry with the far side so what happened uh, what make i not make the thing anymore what happened i be like the thing you know i must hook up, up another far side bag i don't know why the two of them create and see um i'm gonna go ahead with my ghee and some rice flour we're gonna start parching this so i'm gonna add my ghee to my pot and you know if you want to double this you can double triple it and make how much you need my wife and why I'm a friend, I have a friend uh, Maha um, be, um, Beehive, I believe, that requested this one, this recipe. Like you keep in Johnny, eh? inviting us or what? Okay, so my ghee is going to be melted there. I'm going to bring the camera in close so you can see what's going on. Now we have our ghee melted here. You want to keep your stove medium to low heat and go in with your rice flour. And we're going to start the parching process here and this is going to take anyway from eight to ten minutes you want to parge this really really well you want to parge the rawness out of this so we're going to completely parge. so as we're parching this we're just taking the back of our spatula and we're pressing it down so you know we don't have any too much lumps or anything like that form and this is the consistency you're looking for here, this nice crumbly consistency. And like I mentioned, you're parching this anywhere from eight to 10 minutes, medium to low heat. You wanna parch it really, really nice. You don't wanna taste the rawness in this. You're gonna parch it until you see the color of this white rice flour change a little bit. I wanna explain something to you guys. Um, when you're making this, I use here quarter cup of ghee to one cup of rice flour for this recipe. But do bear in mind, everyone rice flour, you know, ghee is different in um, texture and stuff like that. So it might observe this rice flour differently. When you add it, if it's too pasty and too sticky, you can go ahead and add more rice flour to it to get this consistency. This is what you're looking for, this consistency, this, you know, loose nice consistency this is what you're looking for so you're gonna make sure to parge this well your kitchen is gonna smell you're gonna get a nice scent like of um toastiness in your kitchen then you know it's ready so it's only been a few minutes that i'm parching this but i wanted to come back and you know let you guys know to fix it if you add your ghee and this is looking too soggy or runny you can always add a little bit more of a rice flour it's been exactly 10 minutes as you can see the color change it's not so white like before i have more like a creamish color or so so what we're gonna go ahead and do we're gonna take this off the heat and proceed with the next step while this is still warm and cooling down here we have to add sugar but you cannot add sugar while this is hot you have to wait until it's cooled down you want to sweeten it a little bit i'm gonna go in with a sprinkle of black pepper to give it a nice kick and i'm gonna do like a sprinkle of cardamom powder you know just a sprinkle the cardamom powder is optional and if you don't care for the black pepper you don't have to but you know do give it a nice little twang on the tongue mix that in and let this completely cool down and then we're going to add our sugar we have this cool down. You can test it with your fingers. You know, it's not hot. We're gonna go ahead and add our sugar and sugar is to your taste preference here. 
you know how sweet you like it and you're gonna go ahead and take your hands and crumble this in mix it in you want to get rid of any um, lumps you know big big lumps and clump of it you just want to smooth it out with your fingers work it in and this is it this is how you make some delicious panchery and we're gonna serve of course y'all know y'all know i had to go make some parsad for serve this thing up right so let me taste this this for you ladies and gentlemen we're in business finished product we got parsad yes and we got a pantry here mm, look how powdery and nice this is it's like snowflakes so how this is eaten like usually you would get it in your parsad bag you would get your parsad and this is sprinkled on top and then you would take a handful and mm. oh my god so good together so good together you get a little crispiness from the sugar and from the rice flour and just dock it in go in big bites i don't know why we're young coco you guys want some parts huh? mm. So delicious take me back home you know so tasty so i hope you guys enjoy this recipe try it the next time you make parsad you're gonna love it and you're gonna thank me see you guys soon with another delicious recipe love you all stay blessed stay safe i don't know what the two of them them two on parsad love you guys